line. And today we are looking at a Hillcrest and Lumber Co. LTD number 10 Climax locomotive made by the MTH company. Uh, this guy was in catalog two of 2000. Product number 2030 39-1 was delivered in August of 2000. It does feature a diecast bell, diecast metal whistle, accurate gears on the gear and pistons on the side. Uh, a very beautiful locomotive, hand, hand painted uh, fireman and brakeman figures in the locomotive. Full diecast boiler, full diecast tender, diecast trucks, operating headlight and reverse light. Uh, has smoke has a uh, MTH Proto Smoke unit in it. Um, Proto Sound two with DCS equipment equipped. Now the Hillcrest and Lumber uh, Company. They had Hillcrest and Lumber number 10 is a standard three truck Class C Climax locomotive built in May of 1928 by the Climax Manufacturing. For the Hillcrest and Lumber Company, they used it to haul logs, trains, and other locomotives. The number 10 was the second to last Climax delivered to Hillcrest and Lumber Company. Uh, now, may you ask some history there on the Climax. Uh, the Climax is a geared steam locomotive, kind of like the Shea locomotive and the Heisler locomotives, um, which was built by the uh, Climax Manufacturing Company, later named to the Climax Locomotive Works of Cory, Pennsylvania. These Climax locomotives had two steam cylinders attached to the transmission located under the center of the boiler, which sent power to the dry shafts running from the front and rear trucks. Uh, 1,000 to 1,100 of these locomotives were built classes A, B, and C between 19, or 1888 and 1928. As of today, there's approximately 17 Climax locomotives surviving in the North in North America, and of which about five of them are operational. So overall, very beautiful model. We're gonna go up and get a close up look here so you guys can get a better look at this thing. I really appreciate taking the detail this locomotive's got for how early MTH released this guy. And they did release the Protosound 3. I don't have the Protosound 3, but We'll get there eventually. So we're going to go up get a close-up look at this thing. We'll be right back up here close to this engine. Now we're looking up close here. Got the headlight there. Number board on the front of the smoke box. Simulated wood steps there on the front. Nice coupler. There's all your pistons and stuff there on the side. Air compressors. Very detailed model. There's your bell, your metal whistle. Overall, MTH outdid themselves with this model right here. Very great model. If you can find it, I recommend you get it because it's a great locomotive. So we're gonna this, get this thing fired up here for you guys. I know it's everybody's favorite part of the video. So hold on, we'll fire this thing up and we'll be right back. Let's go ahead and get this thing, get this bad boy fired up here for you. It does have a little bit of different sound than your normal MTH locomotive. But it's got a really nice sound to it. We'll start with the bell. Typical MTH bell. Now the whistle, that's one of my favorite parts of this locomotive. We'll hit it right now.
Just a beautiful whistle. Got some crew talk there. Listen to sound number one. Idle sequence one. Four whistle. Reverse whistle. Sound number two. Does have train mech, train wreck mode on it. Sound number three. Idle sequence number two. And it's got many more features than just those sounds right there. But overall, MTH outdid themselves when they made this locomotive model. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy running here for you. And uh, we'll get this thing up and moving.
Well, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed today's review on this Hillcrest and Lumber Climax locomotive. Watching this beautiful thing strut its stuff around in the layout um, on our new upper loop that we have. It hasn't been featured in any videos, so we get to feature this. I built this upper loop just for this Climax locomotive. So, um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoy any of my other, any of my other videos, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if you want to see something uh, that I haven't done, something I should get to do. I do have a bunch of new stuff coming out here. Um, got a bunch of new locomotives. Uh, so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and hit that little bell for more notifications. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe.